Space is a big place, one rich with resources and adventures for the taking. So when you're the imaginative type, leaving Earth offers near limitless opportunities for humanity's expansion. Of all the people weighing in on how we'll get to space and what we'll do there and on what timeline, the voices of two billionaires, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, ring the loudest and most often. Musk, the tech mogul behind Tesla and founder of SpaceX, and now $33 billion rocket company wants to establish a permanent self-sustaining city on Mars. Meanwhile, Bezos, the founder and CEO of Amazon, has his own space company, Blue Origin. Its work so far focuses on building the road to space with new rockets and could ultimately pave the way for floating colonies. These two grandiose dreams are markedly different, and their owners occasionally spar about the details. But it's not inconceivable that their two companies will one day work together in space. Business magnet Elon Musk shared laughing emojis on Twitter in response to a meme claiming Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin copied SpaceX with its Project Jarvis vertical landing spacecraft. Recently, Ars Technica published photographs of Blue Origin's stainless steel tank, which is part of the company's efforts to develop a fully reusable upper stage for its New Glenn rocket. This project, which was revealed last month, has been codenamed Project Jarvis. While the unofficial project created a buzz among Twitter users, a section of the internet felt the tank looked remarkably similar to the SpaceX's Starship rocket. Yesterday, Twitter user SpaceX Master Race shared a screenshot of the Ars Technica article, showing a picture of the prototype tank as it was rolled out of the Launch Complex 36 in Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Blue Origin revealed Project Jarvis was designed to be a fully reusable rocket prototype for the Blue Origin New Glenn that will land vertically, similar to SpaceX's Starship. A user even tweeted and wrote, Hey Elon, can I copy your homework? He captured the photograph, suggesting that the Blue Origin New Glenn copied SpaceX's Starship, which also lands vertically. In response, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk simply shared two rolling on the floor laughing emojis, implying that he agreed with the take. Besides Musk's emoji reaction, it also garnered thousands of likes and around 400 retweets. One of the users wrote, To be honest, I'm surprised at how slow other manufacturers are to copy SpaceX. It's over five years since the first Falcon 9 landing and still no other rocket manufacturer has landed an orbital rocket. BO does the right thing copying SpaceX, they just need to become better at it. Another commented the space wars will always be welcomed. It's good for humanity as long as they don't sabotage each other. I'm no fan of BO but really should be copying SpaceX. It is the most prudent way to get anywhere fast. Copying in engineering doesn't solve all the problems but it does make them easier. Having real and class competition will be good for SpaceX in the future, a comment read. Blue Origin is still trying to nail down its exact approach for launching its new Glenn Heavy lift launch vehicle. According to Ars reporting, the company still hasn't ruled out adding large wings to allow the second stage to glide back down to Earth. It's far more likely that the Blue Origin will opt for a familiar procedure, using the stage to launch the new Glenn spacecraft separating and then landing vertically just like SpaceX's super heavy booster. Either way, Blue Origin's continued developments will likely lead to further derisive comments from Team SpaceX and how the company is playing catch up with the competition. That's in no small part because Blue Origin has been fighting tooth and nail to be part of NASA's upcoming Artemis missions to the moon. SpaceX emerged as the only winner of the space agency's recent human landing systems contract, drawing the ire of Blue Origin's leadership prompting an angry lawsuit against NASA by Bezos' company. This is the only latest in the long line of acrimonious exchanges between SpaceX and Blue Origin. Over the last few years, Blue Origin and SpaceX have clashed several times over different issues, whereas Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk have occasionally locked horns over the rockets and their different plans of space exploration. Most recently, Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin sued the U.S. government over its decision to award a massive moon exploration contract to its competitor SpaceX. Meanwhile, Musk has taken a dig at Bezos in a tweet stating Blue Origin can't get it up to orbit over the firm filing a protest against NASA. Furthermore, for the past couple of years, SpaceX has been launching a constellation of satellites that could reach well into the thousands intended to beam internet signals to the Earth. Amazon has a similar plan with the program it calls Kuiper, which is yet to launch a satellite. On August 25th, Amazon challenged a SpaceX application to the FCC to modify its plan, saying the modification would violate the FCC's rules. Six days later, SpaceX responded and it didn't mince words. Openly dismissive of Amazon's technical ability, SpaceX accused the company of trying to delay SpaceX's efforts to make up for its failures. Amazon's track record, SpaceX said, amply demonstrates that as it falls behind its competitors, it is more than willing to use regulatory and legal processes to create obstacles designed to delay those competitors from leaving Amazon even further behind. On Wednesday, Amazon fired back, accusing Musk of openly defying lawful regulations time and again. 
The conduct of SpaceX and other Musk-led companies make their view plain. Rules are for other people, and those who insist upon or even simply request compliance are deserving of derision and ad hominem attacks, Amazon said in its filing with the agency. On Thursday, SpaceX filed a new, another week, another objection from Amazon against the competitor, yet still no sign of progress on Amazon's long-rumored satellite system. Its letter to the FCC began. However, amidst the rivalry, it was congratulations all around the billionaire's table as Jeff Bezos, founder of Blue Origin, took to Twitter to laud his rival rocket mogul Elon Musk of SpaceX on the historic launch of an all-civilian crew into orbit. Congratulations to Elon Musk and the team on their successful Inspiration4 launch last night. Bezos wrote on Twitter on September 16th, Another step towards a future where space is accessible to all of us. Musk wrote back with a simple thank you. Bezos' well wishes for SpaceX came on the heels of a successful nighttime launch of Inspiration4, a private mission financed by another billionaire, Shift4 tech entrepreneur Jared Isaacman. Isaac Mann is flying himself and three ordinary people in space and raising $200 million to help St. Jude Children's Research Hospital fight childhood cancer and other diseases. The three-day Inspiration4 mission launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon space capsule Wednesday night from Pad 39A of NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It returned to Earth on September 18th with a splashdown of Florida, either near the Atlantic coast or in the Gulf of Mexico. Inspiration4 is a first-of-its-kind mission, one of which no one on board is a professional astronaut. It is the first fully private mission to Earth orbit and SpaceX's first free-flying orbital crewed mission. The company has flown three other Crew Dragon missions since May 2020, all for NASA to ferry professional astronauts to the International Space Station. Inspiration4 is a mission to orbit the Earth in the Crew Dragon only, at an altitude of up to 364 miles or 585 kilometers, offering sweeping views of our planet from space to its crew via a novel glass dome cupola on the spacecraft. Bezos' congratulations to Musk come amid some acrimony between their rival space companies. Blue Origin has recently launched Bezos and three others on a suborbital space flight on July 20th from the company's West Texas launch site. That flight came nine days after the suborbital launch of yet another billionaire, Sir Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Galactic on his company's Spaceship 2 Unity space plane in New Mexico. For all their differences, Musk and Bezos have charted similar paths in building their empires. Both possess a preternatural ability to upend entire industries with innovative new products, an ability to see deep into the future, and the fortitude to stay true to their beliefs, defying doubters and shrugging off short-term losses for long-term gains. At PayPal, Musk helped to disrupt the credit card industry and transform how American consumers pay for goods and services. At Tesla, he has taken on the entire automobile industry and revolutionized the electric car market. SpaceX fought the military-industrial complex that for decades had dominated space and has become NASA's preferred launch partner. With Amazon, Bezos first upended traditional bookstores, then all of retail as he turned the company into a behemoth everything store, and Amazon Web Services changed the way companies store their data. For decades, American enterprise has been built on the fierce competition between titans of industry from the days of Andrew Carnegie and John D. Rockefeller more than a century ago. Now Musk and Bezos are writing a new chapter focused on space, a sector romanticized by popular culture and nostalgia for the 1960s Apollo era, but that has emerged in recent years as one of the most exciting industries with the potential for enormous growth. It's a bit of race and these billionaires are willing to throw a ton of money to emerge as the commercial super heavy lift system of choice. It's a high risk, high reward game that's bound to make at least some of them the butt of many jokes still to come. What do you think of the rivalries between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos? Let us know by dropping a comment in the section below.